Hello and welcome to another tutorial in Python. Today I will be showing you how to do a Google search and then what we can do afterwards is compare the results with an actual Google search. So it's only a short tutorial today and as you can see it's literally only a few lines of code. Let's get started. The first thing you want to do is install a module called Google Search. And this is the module we'll be using to perform our Google Search. And how you install that into your Python shell is if you type in pip install Google Search dash Python, then that will install the Google Search module into your Python shell. And it's very important to include the dash Python at the end of your pip install Google Search. Otherwise, it will not install the Google search module and you'll get um, errors such as module not found and things like that. So just remember to add the dash Python on the end. After you've done that, you'll need to restart your shell and then we can really get going. After you've restarted your Python shell, if you type in from Google search, import search, we can then use the search part of the Google search module. Below that, I've created a variable called g underscore search one, and that's my shorthand version of saying Google search one, and I've equated that to the value analyst rising in quotation marks. So this analyst rising quotation marks is going to be the term we're gonna search in Google. Below that is our key part of this short code, and this will perform our search and also return a number of a specified number of results. So if we type in x equals and then search, which is our search part of the Google search module, and then in brackets type in g underscore search one, which is our variable created above, which is analyst rising, comma language equals en, and then comma num results equals 25. So lang equals en is a language in English, and num results 25 means we're going to return the top 25 number of results. If I then do a print to print out our values, in this case print x, because all that this terminology here is equal to x, we can then run our code and see our output. So it's a very quick code here. And you can see here that we've got a bit of a dump going on here. We've got, uh, we have got our top 25 terms here but it's not really printed in a way that is easy to read and understand so what we can do is we can exit this go back to our code and we can just do short for loop and so we can display the results a bit better so if we type in for i in x to so every value in x and you know, essentially for every number of results in x we're going to print i and it will just display the results a bit better so if we run it We can see here that we have our number of results printed below like this. And we can check that against our an actual Google search that we can do. So if I go into here a uh, Chrome that I've got, and I've actually done exactly the same thing. I've searched analyst rising in Google. And we can see the top value here is, is a YouTube, which is the YouTube channel. And we can go back to our code here, our output. Now we can see here that YouTube is our top search here. And then we have Facebook, Twitter, and Daily Motion, and an Etsy, which I've forgotten about. And we can go down, you can see we've got Facebook, Twitter, Daily Motion, and Etsy. <laughs> Funny enough, below we've got we've got we get very interesting ones when you get to the end of the first page. Um, but that proves that the Google search module in Python does actually work and does actually produce the top 25 results or the top results when you actually do the same as the Google search on the internet. So I hope you've enjoyed that tutorial. It is just a very quick one today and very small number of codes. And so I hope you've enjoyed it. It's a really fun one and really get stuck into it and start doing some pretty awesome searches without actually having to go onto the internet itself. Thanks very much for watching.